So what is a colon capsule endoscopy? As, as the name probably implies, it's uh, a capsule that is designed to travel through the gut and through the entire large bowel or colon, same thing. Um, and uh, 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 this, this technology has been around for over 20 years now, and I think was first introduced uh, predominantly in the small bowel. Uh, uh, because a capsule will fit through the small bowel much more snugly, like a train going through a tunnel. Um, but it wasn't really uh, it wasn't really utilised for the colon until very much more recently, as it was felt in initial trials that a small capsule would be would be missing pathology in a relatively larger colon compared to a small bowel. But actually, a, a number of trials have demonstrated that uh, it's probably. Uh, as good as a uh, virtual colonoscopy or a CT cologram of the bowel in looking for um, pathology in the bowel, such as inflammation or, or large, um, uh, large polyps or tumours um, or inflammation of the bowel, such as colitis. Um, so, so it's really um, taken off much more in the last couple of years, even though the technology has been around for, for quite a long time now. Um, and uh, involves swallowing a capsule, which is a little bit bigger than a, a cod liver oil capsule and has a camera on either side with a, a battery and a transmitter. Um, and the capsule is swallowed and then it's, it passes through the small bowel into the colon uh, and then passes through the colon within a few hours and is usually excreted out of the back passage. Um, all the images are transmitted wirelessly to a belt that's worn around the patient's um, abdomen and then recorded onto a a digital receiver and those images are then um, played back on a workstation and all, all the images um, compiled into a video and a report made thereafter so the capsule doesn't have to be um, uh, retained to, to, to get the images if it's if it's flushed down the toilet for example so a colon capsule endoscopy would be performed when uh, the clinician would want to investigate any potential disease in the large bowel the traditional uh, ways of investigating co uh, the colon would be either be with a, a colonoscope, so that's a, a camera on a long telescope that's inserted up the back passage and, and uh, looks at the whole of the, the colon. Um, this procedure is the gold standard, but can be a little bit more uncomfortable and is usually done under sedation. Um, and the advantage of a, a traditional colonoscopy is that you're able to take tissue samples or biopsies or do something therapeutic such as stop bleeding or remove polyps or take biopsies of a, of a, of a mass or, or, or something like that. Uh, a colon capsule is um, a, a passive investigation where the capsule is swallowed and then passes through the entire gut and takes photos of the bowel. So it takes pictures of the of the large bowel and those images can then be um, investigated or, or watched back on a TV screen. But you don't have the opportunity to take any tissue samples or biopsies or if there is suspected bleeding, you can't apply any therapy to stop the bleeding. So it's, it's really um, a less invasive, more comfortable procedure, but lacks the therapeutic application that you'd have with a traditional endoscope. Having a colon capsule endoscopy requires the same preparation as a, a traditional colonoscopy. The patient would still need to take bowel preparation to wash out the colon so that the colon is completely clean um, because we don't want any residue in there that might obscure any images. Um, but as in, in addition to a normal colonoscopy, having a capsule colonoscopy requires uh, extra boosters of laxatives, if you like, to, to boost the capsule first through the small bowel and then through the entire large bowel to ensure that we've got images of of the whole of the bowel. So it does require additional bowel preparation to a traditional colonoscopy, um, uh, lacks the ability to undertake any therapeutic procedures, but is much less invasive and clearly much more comfortable. Because it's a, because it's a capsule that passes through the bowel passively uh, and takes photos of the entire large bowel, it's unable to treat anything, in, in, in other words, the, the capsule is clearly unable to apply any therapeutic procedures. You can't take tissue samples or biopsies or, or remove polyps, for example. But it's able to detect um, changes in the lining of the bowel if you're suspecting inflammation of the bowel or colitis. If you're investigating uh, uh, anemia or suspected bleeding in the bowel, it could, it could pinpoint a bleeding spot from a, a bleeding blood vessel or from a, uh, a lesion such as an ulcer or a polyp. 
Um, it can detect small polyps and indeed large polyps uh, and uh, anything bigger than five or, or four or five millimeters in size. So tiny little polyps can probably be detected uh, by a colon capsule. And uh, clearly it could investigate uh, larger polyps or even tumors such as bowel cancer. Uh, so all of those things it's, it's able to um, detect. Um, uh, unlike a traditional uh, colonoscopy, the, the sensitivity and specificity may not be as, as good. So it may, a colon capsule may not be able to detect um, very small polyps to the same um, degree as a traditional colonoscope, but certainly um, will pick up anything of uh, significance. If you're comparing it to the gold standard uh, traditional colonoscopy, um, uh, the, the latter, traditional colonoscopy, is the gold standard and probably more sensitive and specific than um, a colon capsule at picking up pathology. But a, a capsule colon is, is, is probably comparable to uh, virtual colonoscopy or a CT colagram, uh, which is an alternative to traditional colonoscopy in picking up um, inflammation in the bowel or colitis uh, and detecting polyps probably bigger than four or five millimeters in size. So larger polyps or even bowel cancer or tumors. Uh, so it's effective in detecting um, larger polyps, um, probably not quite as good as the traditional optical colonoscopy uh, uh, in detecting polyps that could be very small polyps that could be behind, um, hiding behind a fold in the lining of the bowel, for example. So whilst it is effective, less invasive and um, um, uh, safe, it may not be quite as effective as traditional colonoscopy, um, but less, uh, less invasive and more comfortable. No, it isn't, because you're swallowing a capsule about the size of a cod liver oil capsule, and then that passes naturally through your gut just in the same way as food will pass through your gut. So there's no pain at all. Um, and then it passes through the bowel as it is eliminated when, um, when, uh, when one evacuates one's bowel. Um, the only potential um, drawback is if there was a, a narrowing in any part of the gut, uh, which could be potentially causing a blockage, uh, and the capsule could potentially get caught in, in that blockage and cause an obstruction. And this is a, a very rare finding because patients will usually be screened um, beforehand to ensure that that isn't a risk. Um, so uh, it isn't a painful procedure. The only drawback potentially is the risk of the capsule getting stuck in a narrowing in the bowel or a stricture somewhere. Uh, and the argument might be that if there is a narrowing or a stricture in the bowel, that might be the location of a particular disease that's causing the problem that might require uh, treatment. Uh, and the capsule can actually identify exactly where that treatment is needed.